not a very good turnout. Good evening, everybody. And Monday and night football being played on Friday night. Dan, this is Daniel Hand against the lawmen of Law High School, Milford, Connecticut. I'd like to welcome you tonight here at Strong Field. Daniel Hand, it's a home game. And we're looking at game number four for the season. As the young men are out in the center of the field getting ready, the captains to uh, have the coin toss and the usual festivities. We are looking out over an absolutely gorgeous evening. And uh, we were just remarking a few minutes ago how absolutely wonderful the uh, sun sunset was this evening. And uh, you wouldn't believe it. So we've got a beautiful night, quite the opposite of last week when we were almost blown off of this press box, if you will. What can we can look forward to in this game tonight? First of all, Hand will be receiving, as you may have heard, over the uh, field announcing. And Hand will be receiving for, to our right. And uh, there's very little wind. There is a little bit of wind coming diagonally across the field tonight, but there is some. So we're going to be having the national anthem here very quickly, and we'll take a break for that. Hey, everybody. We're getting ready for the troops to take the field tonight. Uh, tonight, on the camera, we have Mr. Stephen Fuse. We're going to call him Dr. Fuse tonight. He's becoming absolutely expert. We also have uh, announcing for you is Frank Tordoff doing play-by-play -play and doing color will be Frank Tordoff. Uh, yes, it's not twins. Thank goodness it's only one. But uh, we're going to give it a go for you tonight and have a great time. What we'll be looking for is a quick up on this, talking to the coach before a game. Two very, very similar teams, both running uh, three and zero records for the season, both winning in the same type of situations, using a running control game. We know that Hand has had always a uh, run, a very strong running game. This year is no exception, uh, being led by uh, Eric Hamill and uh, Mike Burrell. And uh, uh, game league here, having the ball from center will be uh, Mark Kowski. Uh, on the left side, they have a very strong, fast, hard, and, and uh, weighty team, so they'll be running the ball a lot. And there's the kickoff. Going back, going back, and taking just barely inbounds by Eric Hamill, and he stepped out about just about the same time as he got that. Um, a little bit too bad. He would have been able to probably bring that up another 10 or 15 yards as it was right on the sideline. Did have a few blockers in front of him, but unfortunately he stepped out right at the 20. So uh, whether it went uh, one way or another doesn't make any difference at this point. We'll be taking the ball over on the 20, headed to the east side of the field. Everybody attends themselves to the line of scrimmage. Marks under the ball, gets ready. The ball comes a little bit wide over to the tackle side with uh, Burrell taking the first, first handoff. And little Mikey, let's see what he did out there. Okay, he got himself about four yards on that. So it's going to be second down and uh, close to the five, five and a half to go. A strong five anyway. Right off the bat, hand getting up there, getting a pretty good dive right off. Uh, uh, a little fake out to Hamill to take it wide. All right, second play from scrimmage. Looking out, Kamkowski making sure signals are correct. Takes, ready, Timmy, puts it back. Off to Eric, going wide, a little bit off. Off the end position, and he should be awful close that first down. Okay, it's kind of hard to analyze right off the bat. Uh, we got, we did get some good downfield blocking, blocking to open it up for about five yards. Okay, they give us the first down on it. No, they do not give it. Sorry, wrong word. We earned that. Okay, the band thanks up for a hand faithful. Spreading wide.
35, 36-yard line, and a go. Clock starts up nine, a little less than 10 on the clock. In this beautiful evening in Strong Field, Madison Cable TV is glad to bring it to you again for many years in a row now. So Mark gets up, eyes the situation. You ready? The snap, it's good. Up it comes, real quick, off slant. Another three, another four for the workhorse, Mike Burrell. We have a big D door as we have a big B Burrell. And we're looking, Larragie comes in. Big L, I don't know. Legs Larragie on the field. but growing in his experience factor. Ready to go. Another play. Moving them fast. Split. We got uh, Lawler, but it's not going out that way. Okay, another up center. Morrell picks up a few more bumps and bruises with another five yards. Should put him up around 20. Okay, Morrell comes out, take a break. There he is. Will he get the ball? So the lawmen defenders, they have to work. Found about the 16-yard line. Second down, six yards to go. Hand. Hamill again. Not much. Maybe two, maybe three. He's going to make a third down and a strong three yards to go. But Hand is threatening, bringing it in tight. The lawmen so far have not been able to stop substantially. This game plan of Hand so far. Spreading, one power wide left. Height, height. Hamill, looking. Defenders all around. Third down, he may be game one, maybe two. Where will they spot it? Not going to be good, going to have to go on fourth. Uh, maybe get a half a yard, two a yard on that. Well, it's going to be a strong two. Hamm's not going to give it up, not going to kick. They're going to have to go with some strong dive. Where will they pull? I'm sure they won't give it as a pass. Although it's spreading the defense. Two receivers, Lawler and Big G Guinepero. However, they go to the soft side out there. Another first down. It's going to be first and two for Hamill. Hey, that was that was neat play called down there for the coach. What you had out there was you had uh, pulling all the defense over here to this uh, near side, if you will, with two, uh, two receivers looking like they're going out and then went to the uh, weak side with the run, uh, did its job, 10 yard gain at least on that play. Okay, so it's gonna be first and a deuce. Okay, hand looking the same, Lala right, Winnipeg left. Hamill Burrell, Burrell takes it up the center, he's got at least the one before he meets a, a torrent of lawmen in there. Okay, it's going to be second goal, a strong stretch. We're going to have to have those linemen are going to have to blast off, control that line, get across the chalk. Hand is on a drive. This drive particularly started on the 20, so so far Hand has got themselves out there with about 88 yards, 89 maybe. Looking good out here. Okay, timeout for Hand. Uh, a little mix up in the calls apparently. Timeout, Hand. And from from Strong Field here Friday night. Uh, look forward to hearing, having everybody hear this program, see this program on Monday Night Football. Channel 18, Madison Cable TV, Gumkowski. Little mix up in the backfield. Hamill, and he's got the TD. Mix up wasn't strong enough to make a difference. Maybe even allowed the, the uh, hand line to secure their blocks a little more. Anyway, Hamill, Eric, in there. On the 80 yards for this touchdown, Eric probably had about, uh, I'd say, 50 of those yards. Maybe 55. Burrell taking the, the other 20 or so. Okay, getting ready. Jimmy Willis. The foot. Willis. I have to call him Bigfoot. Getting ready to key that in. He's only missed one extra point on the air. Okay, broken play on snap. 
Gumkowski has the ball, and he's still alive, still alive, looking to break it loose. Coming up on the ball. Is he going to not quite before he's down? Good effort on Gumkowski. What we had on that is on the uh, snap. The ball hit, was into the ground. It was not a real good snap. Gumkowski had to come up off and not kick it, but he made a good effort on that. Away we go, and hand is up, 6 nothing. Six minutes, seven seconds up. Tommy Hoskins got to put his boot into the ball. All right, remember, hand has been a little bit weak and had to put a lot of time in on this quick team. The kickoff, Tommy scribs it forward. It's going to be a tough one to catch. Rolls forward. Kirk, down, net, 30, 25 yard line. Good coverage on Daniel Hand's part. I think that's, uh, that's all part of that kick. Makes it awful, awful hard when you scrub it like that to recover. Okay, so starting from about the 26-yard line will be the lawmen with a first chance to see what they can do. We're going to be looking, folks, here at a lot of running, uh, possibly a two tight end offense, which will mean that uh, with two tight ends, they can go either way off a of power wing, if you will. And right off this show and pass, on their first possession, they're showing pass, but I would say that's probably a ploy. That's not their normal mode. Up, 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 guard, met at the 26, 27. So that's going to go for about one yard. It's not going to be met with much, uh, much success as far as that one goes. Okay, they tried to spread hands defense. Uh, being a young defense, they might be sucking in on that. Front four able to hold their own. We have Matt Soper in there. He was able to close. We've got uh, Timmy Hevesy. He was able to close. And Andy Drennan down, ready to go face to face, flesh to flesh. Hike coming off, off slant, reverse play. Met by Coddington, makes it to about the 30. This kid, Coddington, number 22, is uh, the big horse as far as carrying it out of the backfield from, the, from a type of uh, tailback or uh, wingback position. Uh, he's, he's the big carrier with all the yardage for the year, and he got about five on that, maybe four. Third down, and uh, good substantial five. Uh, normally, you're going to see a, a pass, but they're not showing that. Two tight ends in. Strong backfield. Ready, coming up. Off tackle. Are they going to be? Yes. Fourth down. Good. They're off slack on the reverse side. Short of the Went down. across left position where we had uh, yeah, okay, Mikey Anderson in there. Okay, going to be fourth down. And from about the 39-yard line, should be kicking to either Peter Lawler or Eric Hamill back here. Is what we should be seeing. They're lined up about the 38-yard line, expecting a good boot. It's up. It is a good boot. It's going to cover some ground back there. Gonna let it, uh, oh, Peter, almost, woo! Okay, Peter's got it on the 20s, held by the shirt, one player. He's down about the 22. Well, uh, a little bit indecisive on that, Peter. We'll have to talk to you about that. <laughs> I know that's a tough one to call when it's rolling around like that, but he let it go bad about the 16. Picked it up, was able to make three or four back on the run, so uh, it ended up being reasonably okay. And again, we'll now be starting from deep in their territory. The first possession went from the 20 all the way down to Patriot with a six to nothing score. Four minutes left, starting at the 22. Expect much of the same from Ham. And Mark gets it, takes it. Looking back, Hamill comes with three or four yard gain on this one. Okay, nothing surprising. This time came a little bit to the ref's left side with Andy Drennan uh, being leading the leading the rest of the parade for the hand. And offensive line. Okay. Ready. Hevesy addresses the ball, looks at it, turns it, feels it, plays it. Ready to go. Wide Guinapero. Okay, Hamill. With a song, hey, hey, baby, downstairs. Hamill comes up for another three. Going to be third down in about three. minutes first quarter and it's a beautiful night Daniel Ann the wind has picked up a bit coming off the sound we're going to be looking at third down choice when a pair goes straight wide left right, wide right excuse me Peter Law is in here tight in the slot oh, quick oh intercepted oh that was supposed to be
to be a quick play out to, uh, out to Guinepero on the right-hand side with a turn in. Unfortunately, it was very, very well read by the uh, captain for the lawmen, who is Chris Corrick, senior co-captain, linebacker. He read that thing perfectly, playing the receiver, stepped up in front of uh, Gumkowski's pass, and I think uh, Gumkowski's only been intercepted once or twice so far this year. So anyway, right now we are we are tied at 6-6. Six to six. An opportunity to kick and gain the lead for the lawmen. Okay, getting ready to kick. The law takes it, falls up, and it is good by the signal of the officials out there. So, the lawmen take the lead, 7-6 to six on Daniel Hand. The miscue from the line of scrimmage with the pass play. Intercepted. Well, unfortunately, but that's the way sometimes the games go. Deep in your territory, you don't have much time to recover with a miscue of that nature. I don't expect to see Hand do too much of that. I uh, really expected to see Hand come across the left side with the tight slot and the tight end the over on the, uh, on the left hand side. Wide side of the field, a lot of room for Kirk to go on that. Well, you know, you gotta, you gotta uh, look at both sides of the ball and it was an excellent play by Long on that interception and the point after. The score was Hand 32, Jonathan Law 12. Well, field announcer just mentioning the JV game. Hand beating Law in the JV game this afternoon, 32 to 12. A little bit of spirit for the Hand faithful downstairs. Looking, Hand's all lined up out here now. Deep is Hamill and Lawler inside that. We've got a host of players, the ball get ready to go up. It is, Hamill's gonna pick it up on the 20 again. And he, he takes it up. Go about the 35-yard line, 15 yards on the on the run back. Nice job, good coverage by Law. A little bit slow closing. Good uh, good hold hold blocking, if you will, for Daniel Hand. The Tigers now get the word from the team team captain on the field, Mark Gumkowski. Soper moves back over quickly, coming left. Hamill up, wide, cutting, gonna be, oh, almost had it done, he had the high step at the 50, and the foot came down out of bounds, about the 48 for the lawman. Good play, he had made that corner, was going down there, had to do high stepping around one of the, uh, one of the approaching defenders, and unfortunately that foot came down just enough. Only thing the defender could do, try to force him out of bounds, and it worked. Okay. Big Gwen out here on the near side. Quick dive though by Burrell up the center slot. And he got himself another five on that. Good upper body strength. He puts himself in that power position. Goes across the blockers and makes himself another five. Heavy duty up front. All right, ready. Down number two of the second hand, third hand possession. on the field by the Gumkowski. And we've got a flag on the field, no gain on that. It's gonna be a procedure call, I'm sure, a motion call. And look like they started first they here early on that. They should be pushed back about five yards, make it second and 10. If I read this properly. Officials conferring with the lawman captain. Lawler in motion, going to the right. Everything moves right. Gumkowski moves right. Nice, beautiful block by Hamill. What a block. He came out there and cleaned out the uh, Law defender. Did Eric, that's nice to see. The defender for Law is Eric Larka, a junior. And uh, what we had was a nice move on that. Nice to see somebody be 
like Eric, being able to go out there and place the block the way it had to to spring, uh, to spring Gumkowski when he had the option all the way. Okay, that was a neat gain. That was about eight yard gain on that. Third down, three yards to go. Hamill gets the call again. He's out first down. 36 yard line before they bring him in the grass. Okay, now new breath. First down from about the 36 yard line of the law. What shall it be this time? 32 seconds left in the first period. Daniel Hand moving. Their third possession. One was successful, one was miscued. Kamkowski takes it real quick up off tackle. Keeps driving those legs, gets maybe three yards. All the word is that this is ground them out football. That's what we're looking at. Gonna be some tired young gorillas in that front line, if you will. Just close in blocking all the time. Takes a lot of energy from the uh, from the men on both sides. Okay, the period is changing. We're going to, sec to the second period. The teams will be reversing the field. All right, second period is underway. Daniel Hand on the move from the 35-yard line of the lawman. Now we're looking from the left to the right. Okay, we had a nice drive by Eric again. Mike Anderson coming up off the pile. Jimmy Hevesy coming up out of the pile. Out of the depths, Ryan Torres. All right, then Rob Mason coming up out of there. The, Okay, we've got we've got some good strong tigers in there addressing the ball again. Timmy Havasey. To his left, what are we looking at? Andy Drennan getting ready to throw his weight around. It's coming to Hamill again. Tries to dive. He's gonna be third down. It's gonna be up about the uh, I think it'd be about a yard shy depending on the spot. We're also looking down there. I see Cardington is playing in a safety safety position out there. So they, they're running some of their horses uh, both ways, as many teams have to do at the high school level. But that, you have to be awfully well conditioned to be able to take that on a sustained basis. Okay, hand addresses. Tight end is here on our near side. Matt Soper looking to go that way. The blocks are placed. Hamill breaks. Hamill breaks. One more. And coming from behind, he's taken down. As he had the soft step around, it'll be a first down for him at the, de at the law 12 yard line. They're, they're going to have enough room to be able to get in for another first down if they need it. They have space to be able to come up with eight, eight, uh, eight downs to go to the 12 yards. Will they need it? Hopefully not. Let's do it in one. Let's do it in two. Okay, Lawler comes near side and Guinepero far. Burrell up the center is taken down quite quickly. Going to be about two yard gain, maybe, maybe three. The hand is liking to do that play to, to spread the defenders. Burrell comes in, running strong, even back to the huddle. Larragui moves in with the play. And Big B Burrell comes out. Okay. Hand, ready, ball, hike, Hamill wide, moving in, inside the 10, he should have a first down, inside the five to about the two yard line. So, I have a feeling they're gonna be awful close to that first yard line, maybe not first down line, maybe not quite there. Our officials are gonna call for the sticks to come across the field as they look for, uh, to actually take a measure out here. And they do, they call them across. If indeed it is first down, fine, it's moot point. If not, it'll be third down for hand. They'll still have two chances to get in there. And what are we looking at? They stretch the links. It looks, it's first. All right, Frank Barron signals at forehand faithful. He shows, yes. Okay. to go right next to us the law cable tv taker shouting encouragement to the, the white and black out there down ready to go okay we've got a little different complexion look up there on the offensive line and andy drennan to the right 
And Mike Burrell did take that up, quick dive. Didn't get much, maybe got one. It's gonna be first, second down and about one yard to go. Everything plugged up very quickly on that goal line stand. Some big troopers in there from the lawmen. They must be state troopers in the way I looked at the last time I saw the lawmen. Certainly not undercover with those big guys. Okay, getting the ball is Kamkowski. Hell dives. He's across with possession. Loses the ball as he goes across. But he had possession, I'm sure of that. He had the ball when he broke the plane. I don't see if there'll be any question. Uh, offside on law. Shouldn't make a question, shouldn't have be much of a discussion. Encroachment, penalty against the defense. Oh, takes it down over. Then up again. Second and goal. Even with the encroachment, I thought it would have been a, a take it or, uh, or uh, decline the penalty. Was not done. Didn't have to be. Apparently it was before the snap. So now Hand has it, a half yard to go. Second down. Maybe a sneak by Gumkowski. He's a big boy, able to get up there. What will he do? He's got it. Nope, it's a quick dive up to Burrell, and he's got it. He takes it in a very dirt. Burrell locks up his, his score count, another one. Nice job, hard, hard yardage. And it's one half, 18 inches to go. Precisely measured. Let's get a feel for this music down front. Going for the two. And they make it successful. All right, two Peter Lawler got the two points. Somehow we knew they were going to make up the missed, uh, uh, missed point after earlier. But this time we're successful. What do you know about that? Huh? Takes the lead, 14 to seven, by making that two-point conversion. They even it up now, as far as we can see. Hands getting ready, a new burst for life. Not that they really lost on any. But Hand is looking strong again on their their running game. Took Law by surprise with a pass to Kamkowski to Lawler in the end zone. Hopkins kicks the ball. We got music on the field. A trio of musicians coming from the uh, officials down there. I think Nope was, uh, there was the key of C with their whistles, I think. <clears throat> okay, well, we're gonna have a kick over. Did we have an infraction? Or just maybe the officials didn't uh, signal the game. Nope, they're gonna move back law five yards. And we'll be kicking from the 45. Must have been a, a mo motion on the uh, kickoff team, I mean, the receiving team from that. Hand gets a the benefit of a five-yard penalty, kicking from the 45, far side hash mark. Will be Tommy T. Hopkins. No, no relation to the score, but nonetheless, nice kick, nice line drive deep to kind of more or less halfway re reverse. By law, they make it up to about the 28, so... Well set up with a wall on that uh, far side, if you will. Law set up the, law, the uh, wall in return, did not fake up the hand players too awfully much. Men were able to keep it to their own side, stay the home, following their pattern of run down and away they went. Nice job now. by everybody. The defense for hand takes their position. We're going to Mac Dolan's over on this side here for near side linebacker. They take it and Hamill's in for uh, safety. Torres into strong safety. Okay, looking pass, mid back, no pressure on him. Long pass, and no good. Way over the head. But I'll tell you, the quarterback had plenty of time on that. He wasn't even pressured at all. He aired the thing out on a good 35, 40 yard pass, but uh, way overshot the, the receiver, who was the only one going downfield. Name is Rob Pacifico, he's a junior. Quarterback, his name is Hart. 
If you, Jason Hart's been around a long time, third year starter for the Lawmen. Okay, second down, 10. Look for them to try the strong run right now. Ready, set, man in motion. It's the deep man, he's through. And he's gonna break it. And Hamill's got an angle on him. Will he be able to bring him down? Yes. Got him down about the 12 yard line, saving a Eric Hamill, showing himself on both sides of that ball tonight. Able to bring down the, uh, the play came right up. Perfect blocking from the lawman for about a 60 yard gain on that play. The runner was Jerry Payne, another junior. Looks like Law should have a lot of juniors back for next year. In both, good, uh, good play from them. Juniors are showing well. Both skilled and up front weight positions. Okay, Lawman ready to go. Up the center again, same man. He met immediately and down. First down, that will go second, maybe a gain of one. So it'll be nine yards to go. They'll be able also, as hand was in their last possession, they'll have up one yard a chance to get to uh, actually eight, eight downs to go about 12 nine. yards. It's gonna be second and, second and nine. That play making up for their uh, being blown off the ball last time, hands defenders held in, stayed home, and got the runner. Okay, maybe shifting a little bit side. Ball goes, second man through, correct. And he's down with about a yard gain. Gonna be third and about seven. Carrick was able to get up there, but he went absolutely nowhere. Hand was holding their own. Lawman tried very hard to get down and turtle the line. Did not work. To the 10. Tommy Malik in there. Third and eight. Okay, Tommy calling the calls, setting the defense. Third down and long for Law. Remember, they, they could be doing this in two. They're showing pass. Looks like it. Now they are quick. Over the center. Bells incomplete. Right in the hands on the letters of the uh, tight end, making it quick. John Knapp had that in his grasp, had a chance for he rode them. And it eluded him for the moment. Anyway, fourth down and long for the lawman. Hands defense holding up at this point. Although they had a little, little help that time because he was wide open. Knapp was wide open on the way in. Show and pass again, man in motion coming near side. Quick pass again, uh, man is down. The play. Hard pass is complete. That's gonna Good go, time. I would say, against uh, Law. Knapp did catch it that time, and he was maybe in a position for a first down. It would have been a close call if that's the way it was gonna go. <clears throat> a lot of times, that's the way to go. Instead of getting everything at once, uh, try to get in, take the two plays to get in there and get the new fresh set of downs. It's a little luxury you don't have very often in this game when you're down there in, the, in what they call the red zone. Ball's coming in for a measure. They did call it motion. As it was motion on, on law that time and they're, they're discussing whether they should take the play or the penalty. If uh, the penalty, it would turn over to hand if it wasn't a first down. If they take the, if it is a first down, then they, then uh, Hand will say no. We'll take the penalty and force him to go over again, and that's the way it looks. It must have been right there on the first down mark. <laughs> that's what I would call it. I don't know if I said that too fast to get get it through, but nonetheless, Hand does take up, takes the first, takes the penalty. It goes back to about it'll be fourth down and about 14 yards. Dirt. But once inside that, they do have a little breathing space for Law to, to get the, another fresh set or get the touchdown. Man in motion, going right. Coming deep, hard, fast. Man is in. He's grabbed, and he's going down at about the six-yard line. Should be hand taking over the ball at about the six. That was a little hairy at first. Okay, let's go. 
Okay, Daniel Hand taking the ball. Hamill up quick, trying to gain a little breathing room down there. After stopping on downs, the lawman deep in the Hand territory. Hand takes over with the six yard line there. Get about two yards. We got five minutes, 20, 21 seconds and counting in this uh, second period. Daniel Hand ahead, 14 to seven. All right. Wind is coming at us off the sound. Fairly light right now, but it could affect any passing and kicking game. Lala wide, near side. Gunnar wide, left side, far side. Ball comes up the middle to Burrell. Was that Burrell? No, I don't think he was in. I think I saw him come out and on the sidelines. Yeah, that was Dan Larragy taking that. Okay, he got him, so it's third down and about five for him. Interesting call deep in your territory. Do you keep the run going or do you go with a quick pass? Larragy out. Looks like Ryan Dorez went in with that play. Big D Dorez in. Two-way player also. Doing a fullback chores. Out wide to Hamill. He's made quickly. He's going to be stopped. Oh, maybe only one two-yard gain on that. It's going to end up being fourth. Would assume that Hand's going to have to kick it away. So Hand is held for the first time tonight with three and out, if you will, from deep within their territory. The other time they gave the ball up quickly was uh, when there was an interception, which resulted in the only um, only real offensive push from uh, from the lawman. Intercepted the pass, went right in for a touchdown. Other than that, have not really threatened hard except for this last possession. Okay, timeout on the field. Called by the long. Oh, after that timeout taken by Law, inside of four minutes, Daniel Hand High School. Hand going to kick it away. Malik back to protect the kicker. Kicking goes up. About a 30 yard, 35. Good roll for Hand, but it's immediately picked up. The Law man gets about eight yards on that. Okay, Dan Glenn did that kick. Went out there fairly substantially. You had to uh, take a little time on that. He did have the time. Good hold. There was not a rush on. A little surprised at that, I thought. But then the lawmen knew they had uh, good, strong three and a half minutes or better to take the ball, and they were going to get a good field position. <laughs> All right, addressing the ball. Other lawmen going to try to steal this game from Hand. Won't happen. Hand, ready. Pass across middle to tight end. This time he grabs the ball and comes down with it. Yes, Knapp is the one who dropped it earlier when he would have had a touchdown. This time he made sure he had a good grab and was immediately hit and went down, but it's a first down from the 27-yard line of Daniel Hand. They'll have first and 10 to go. Far Hand defending. We've got up there Soper on the far side. We've got Rob, and Rob Anderson, yes. Andy Drynan, Mike Anderson. Jimmy Hevesy on this defensive end over here. Ball's going cross over to the right. Hit fairly substantially, but it'll be about a five-yard gain for second down. Okay. Right now, we're getting, getting a pretty good uh, force off the line, if you will, from the lawmen who are big. They are strong. One of the things the coaches was, was very, very concerned about before the game was the strength and speed. Oh, nice catch right then by uh, Knapp again, the tight end. In traffic, he pulled that ball in, was hit very immediately, and was able to hold on to it. So he's got himself two catches so far in the evening. And they're on the roll, another first down from about the 14-yard line. Again, they will have, if they can get the first down, they'll have eight chances to go about 14 yards. Will they try it all at once? Right now, they're finding a bit of success on their passing game. Backpedal motion. Cardington looking to go up center. He did. He got about three. It'd be third down, second down. And about maybe eight. He was playing a slot position, came back off of that, and then took the ball up off uh, the guard position and to the right. Another timeout. Second and nine. By law, they're burning their That's timeouts the right now, trying to make sure that they don't have any mischief. Jonathan Law. Inside of two minutes, Lawman on the charge. Second down, about eight yards to go from the 12-yard line of Daniel Hand. We have the Lawman getting ready for their second play. 
And in motion slowly, swinging out here in the option pass for the quarterback. He's got the ball. He's He's tackled down very, very quickly. Dolan's got him, Hembassy's got him, and Malik has got him. Gonna be close to a first down, or be third and about less than one, I would say. Good call on that play. They went to the weak side with a rollout of the quarterback, and he did have an option to look for an open man, and uh, seeing none, he decided to take it in. The pursuit from hand was not there. Sticks come across the field. In the able hands of one of their officials. Place it, and it is a first down for the lawman. All right, okay, they've got a fresh four now to go in there with about four. The lawmen are threatening and threatening hard. Everything right now seems to be working. They're getting good blocking. They're getting uh, a passing game working and some runs. Take it up quickly through center with the quarterback keeper. And he was stopped dead at just about the light of scrimmage, but he rolled ahead for about two. It's gonna be second down and uh, one and a half yards. So they are threatening. Bob Mason coming in. Put some more beef on that front line. You see Mason and Anderson and Drennan and Dolan and Hevesy. Everybody will start, stack up that front line. Gonna to try to go again, another QB. And they've got it. Quarterback kept that ball twice on keepers. Once he went to the right side of his center, and once he went to the left side of his center, and they were able to put the ball through the chalk line at that point. With less than a minute left, they are now 14 to 13 is the score. Uh, the assumption is they certainly have their kicker out there and will go for the kick to tie the ball game. You can say right now that it certainly looks like this is going to be take more than then two touchdowns and two extra points to uh, win this ball game. Ball is up and it is good. We have a tight ball game with less than a minute left in the first half. So a little sobering there for the uh, hand team because that that uh, was a very, very strong series coming from about the middle of the field. And they took over on the, on the uh, punt. Lawman were able to march down the field, combination of running and passing. They want both the left sides and the right sides on the tight end. Uh, they had the quarterback keeper a couple times, quarterback option. So Daniel Hand was able to uh, not really hold, hold it that much that time. So they're going to have about less than a minute to see if they can get back in the pay dirt country and uh, break this tie that we have just experienced at 52 seconds of the first half remaining. The lawmen are stretching themselves out. Ready to pursue this ball, being teed up. The signals are out, the officials are in place, and they drop the hands and play the music. The kick is up, it's a line drive going far to Hamill. He picks it up at about the 15 yard line. Uh, there are white shirts out there, but Hamill breaks around the end. Almost breaks it free. He had a couple of pursuers left. So it'll be hands down, hands ball at about the 40 yard line. Almost worked. The, the almost hand almost had a wall set up on the far side. I uh, like the way that uh, Hamill will come and address that ball as he picks it up. He looks ahead, he has good vision. Look at where he wants to put his put himself as far as the protection goes. Hey, Hevesy coming up. Big Tim, ready, looks at the ball. Feels it, holds it, plays with it. Kamkowski gets under, taps him, goes. Options, coming wide, looking. Hamill ready, didn't quite, he out. Okay, ball is out of bounds. So we, so we get a uh, stop clock on that. Uh, Mark Kamkowski had the option to play a pass, play the pass or the run. He kept the ball, came forward for uh, Pick up of nine yards. To nine yards, be second, second down. Second and one. Okay, we've got about one yard to go. Uh, contrary to the field, it's just about the 50 yard line. Hand has it on their own. 49 yard line, 30 seconds, seconds left. Hand would love to try to take it inside and get some more points on the board if they can. Again, Kamkowski with the ball, cross first down. Kamkowski It'll be from about the 48, 47 yard down. line of the law. 31 seconds, clock is stopped. 
Now the officials put it back in the, into First play. The clock is running down inside of 30 seven. seconds. Hand moves forward, trying to call the play off. And ready to uh, snap the ball, Hevesy. Taking position, less than 20 seconds left. Looking long, looking far, looking wide. Hamill intercepted ball. On about the 12 yard line. A second interception of the night for the lawmen. Rob Pacifico on the interception. That ball was hung up in the air by uh, Gumkowski, hoping that Hamill could run under it. It was uh, driven a little bit long. Hamill saw that it was over his head and he looked and sure enough saw the defender downfield, so he immediately went for the tackle and uh, was able to bring the lawman down at about the 12-yard line. Well, uh, all the way, one play. We're going to look and see. What, what do you think the lawman will do? There's no time left. Everybody will be going. We'll be having everybody go to the, go to the clubhouse, if you will. Goodness will get you so far. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The Birmingham High School Tiger Marching Band, November the direction of Richard Pisano. Watch now as drum majors Andrew Catapano, Matt Cimento, and Liz Milligan lead the band downfield for the Joe Shannon 1961 rock and roll hit, Runaway. Squad, led by Captain Sabina Rosted, Lee Sawyer, and Glenn Goodman, will now perform to an all-time Beatles favorite, Get Back.
School of uh, Milford, Connecticut. Daniel Hand and Laura are, are actually matched here in a very, very tough pitch battle, 14-14, as we start the second half here on Madison Cable TV. Frank Toroff uh, doing the play-by-play, uh, -play -play, and uh, Dr. Steve Fust over here to my left, running the camera and doing the video for us. Uh, little credit to Dr. Steve. He also is the one who set up the the, the pre-game selections uh, for all the players, so you can see them individually on this tape on Monday Night Football. And Daniel Hand's getting ready to kick off this uh, the pigskin tonight on the second half. It's a gorgeous, beautiful night here in at the Surf Club. It has really been a, a tremendous game to be watching. Uh, back and forth, uh, Hand started the scoring, Law came back, went ahead, Hand came back, went ahead. Very pitched battle. As predicted and as uh, we expected, a very strong running game. And Tommy Hopkins kicks off. Squib kick again down the field. Law coming right, immediately met, met by a host of hand tacklers. Down on the 32-yard line. So the lawmen will be taking over on their own 32-yard line with uh, first and 10. Uh, the Houston last Dan series, Lennon which resulted in a score for the lawmen, uh, was, was very, very excellently run out. They went over 50 yards on the field, a combination of passing and running. Uh, uh, they had options for the quarterback, with the quarterback finally taking it in for the score. Uh, now they're going to take over. What do you think they discussed? Uh, looks like the weakness for him might be a little bit of pass protection. 
And is in there with Lala, but it's running the first play. Met by Tommy Malik right off the bat. Grabs him by the shoestring, tees up the player for the rest of the uh, Peter Lala to come in and hit. All right, we've got Lala, Hamill, Dolan, Larragie on the way out, uh, Hevesy. Okay, Ryan Big D Dorez. Okay, Mike Anderson in there, Rob Mason. Okay, look, looks like we're getting ready for the play. Do start off, man in motion. Kirk plunge up the center, went about two yards. Gonna be third down and about six, we would say. Hand, there we got a lawman on the ground. Well injured, out goes the trainer and uh, Dr. Square to take a look at the player that's down. Don't pick up a number on him. Number 70, he's a nose tackle. Well, nose tackle, he was on defense, I'm sure. <laughs> but he was, he was the offensive uh, uh, guard. He's down. He's, uh, can't tell really from the way he's acting what, what his injury may be. However, we're gonna have third and six down here while the lawman when uh, plays ready for this, uh, to restart the game after that injury. It looks like a leg ankle injury. One of the co-captains, too bad to see Brian O'Rourke for Milford, hobbles off the field. Under his own power though. Okay, here we go, ready to go. Third down and six, should be a pass play. See if that's what we get. Hands ready, moving, getting ready. Hamill comes back, opens the spot. Okay, pass. Oh, very heavily pressured. Ah, no good. Okay, hand. Mac Dolan was getting in pretty strongly, it looked like, at first. Then he moved back. Tim Hevesy went in, rushing the passer. Almost got his hand on it. Ball was lofted very, very high to get across and pass the hand team. Uh, Eric Hamill was back on the, on the safety position, and chasing down the ball, 50, 50, 50, and it was incomplete. So it's going to be fourth down. Moment, Looks like it'll be three and out for the lineman. Sure enough, they're showing punt. And moves back with Hamill on the far side, and Peter Lawler here on the near side to receive the punt. And does not put our pressure on, but they still get close to it. Okay, Peter Lawler picks the ball up on the move, moving to the outside, looking for Jerome. Doesn't pick it up 38, goes to about the 45, seven yard return. So Hand will have a chance to see what they learned at the half time. <laughs> On the way in. Okay, Hand will pick it up first and 10 from there, 44 and a half yard line. Far side hash mark. Getting ready, Hevesy addressing the ball. He takes it, caresses it. Mark Gankowski looks around, ready, set, height. Ball goes to Burrell, coming up the middle. Making it good, making it good. Looking, he breaks through, but there's still uh, defenders out there. However, Mike makes a very, very tough 20, 20 yard run on that. Up through the middle, and he had to cut, cut back across in front of the defenders. So he never cleared himself totally of defenders, but he kept going, pushing. Had, had his uh, upper body strength working for him. One of the tigers of the weight room is Mike Burrell as he comes running off the field for a well-earned rest. Now we have Peter Law coming wide, Jennifer three, three, wide left. A plant, Ryan Big D Dorez takes the ball, goes across center, he gets himself six, seven yards. Now uh, five yards maybe. Gonna be second Ryan down Dorez and carries. four or five. Looked like he got more than that, however, they're gonna spot it a little bit shy. Hand is on the move, second down from about the law 30 yard line. For a gain of two, second and eight. About eight yards to go. Torres comes off. Burrell back in, brought the play in. Pass comes wide to Hamill. Cuts inside, was gonna go wide. He only made it back to the line of scrimmage. Very well defended by the lawman. Gonna make it third down and a long eight. As we have, and the pace and is hard, tough Ross. nose. No game, Down in the trenches, football. The lawman, strong defense up front. And grabs the ball, Gronkowski keeps, goes up about the, gonna be shot of the first shot by about three yards. 
It's going to be fourth down and three or four to go. And it's not wanting to give up the ball down in this territory. <laughs> but they're too close to punt. We'll go fourth and about four. Now defenders, get ready. And offensive block team in there. Hamill and Larragy. Kamkowski keeps pitches. Uh, Hamill, did he? I don't think he's going to get it. Going to be close, going to be dependent on a spot. Looks like he needed about another yard, I think. I think the ball will turn over. Yes, they're giving it first down. So, and four downs and out. Now was four downs and out, so now Law will take back over. On about the Law 24 yard line. First down. And ready with the defenders, reach the steam. And in motion, going to the right, breaking loose almost. Going to be a gain of about three yards. Second down in about six or seven. Man in motion actually cleared, cleared one of the linebackers out as the, as the uh, uh, run came across that position. Okay. Second and six. Andy Drennan takes the nose, ready to stick it in there, right across from center. I'm sure doing some trash talk, Andy Drennan. No, oh, yes, he would. Oh, double reverse, almost comes out, going to be close to first down. Tommy Hopkins comes in to finally put the uh, finishing touches after Gumkowski and uh, Timmy Hevesy. They brought him down. That's something we ought to say. It's going to be third and about one. I think we can look in a tight game like this. Lara is likely to come up with some fancy plays, some fumble ruski types. Uh, we saw them do that with a fake uh, field goal attempt a couple years ago. Uh, see all kinds of reverses, slants, everything. Quarterback sneak, I don't know that he got it. He was trying. One of the last men on the ball going in after that thing for hand was trying to get the ball. They should have tried to strip it earlier. Ball was teed Rob right up. Gumkowski. Let's see, Rob Mason right on the nose on that ball that time. Rob comes out. Short of the first down a little bit. Fourth and about a foot. Inches. Good defense on that play. Uh-uh, Rob was off. Rob's back in. Little yo-yo there. Larragy comes out. There will be a measurement to see whether the first down was made or not. To be or not to be, that is the question. Somebody famous said that one time, I think. Don't know, I, probably one of the coaches said that. Fourth down, down short by inches. Tommy Malik, look, see what should be done. ticket for $150, two, one, six. So does the quarterback, Hart, for Milford, looking to see what to do. Long and bring a play in. Second prize for $100. Six, zero, Game zero. is underway. Six eight, minutes, six, twelve. Four, nine. Clock is running. Six, zero, zero. Clock comes out of there. Eight, Huddle. Six, four, nine. Addresses the ball. The and digs in, looking at the nose, finds the quarterback. Drive. I think he got it. He was able. Only needed about a foot, and it looks like he made it. From there, it'll be depend the on the spot. They give it to him. First down. Okay. Once again, the 50-50 Oh, it's, uh, it was fourth and, and one foot. They thought they could get it from Indian territory. Something First you don't see too often. 216-9801. 216-9801 for 150. Second prize, 600-8649. 600 Okay, here we go. Under play, bang, immediately hit Tommy Hawkins. Nice tackle, Tommy. Who said James kickers can't tackle Tommy? Never believe him. The Hopkins man took that second ball down. Macario, nothing second and about seven, I call it. All right, Tommy's in there playing wide out to the uh, linebacker, outside linebacker, far side. Good to see him in there. Away we go, ready for the hike, ball goes, broken play, quarterback with the ball, intercepted, Matt Cohen, hooray, a lot of pressure on the quarterback that time, for 
pressing the... Yeah, you bet. A lot of pressure. Ham is going to take over about the 35 yard line. First down. And on the way in. Lob, 35. High score. Four minutes, 49 in the game. Clock ticking. I'm not in the game in the third quarter. Excuse me. Okay. Ham. Receive is out on the left. On a swing right with Burrell. He moves through. Got five, six, ten. Couple more players. Is he breaking? I think he's got it. Oh! At the very last. Mike Burrell just not able to come under the onslaught of all those white jerseys after him. That is that is way forward, but he carried him as far as about the five yard line. I want mine uh, washing that jersey this week. All right. And takes it up the middle. And in they go. Eric Hamill. Oh, beautiful bread and butter play of Daniel Hand High School. Taking the ball to the, the pitch out to the, to the tailback going across the guard tackle position to the right. Taking it in for six yards, Eric Hamill. I would say this. No, we're not keeping statistics this week, but Eric and uh, Mike must probably have awful similar yardage. It's going to be interesting. See the stats in the paper tomorrow morning. Okay, Jim Willis getting ready for the kick. Holding. Jamkowski. Ball's up. It's good. And takes the lead. 21. 14. Going ahead with four minutes remaining in the game. The excitement reigns in the Tiger country. Interception we had back there by Dolan. Good pressure on the quarterback. Let that down. Mike Burrell and Hamill taking it in. Well, the help from their friends. The ball's down. Squibs, rolls. Hard to handle. Ball's down on the field. Law's going to get it on the 22. Hey, they were down. What are they doing? I thought the knee touched the ground. Guess not. The referee was right there. The lawmen thought that they were down, too, when they were on the ground. However, okay, we're going to have Law taking over in about the 32-yard line, first and 10. Uh, last time they were out in about uh, five downs because of the intercepted play, but they had made a crucial fourth down play for a first down. Their possession before that, they were out in three, three and out. It's been a tough third period. I would say the other strain is starting to wear and tear on the heavy, big, strong men on the front lines of both the white and the black jerseys. Play comes into position, way, boom, mid at the line of scrimmage, host of hand players. The front line was not intimidated whatsoever by hand. Dan Larragy coming in from a linebacker position. Okay, Daniel Hand. A lot of fire in the blood out there. You can see that. Rob Mason's jumping around out there like he was a pogo stick. 240 pounds of pogo stick. We'll call it again. Rob Mason up there. Let's see if his, uh, yes, his uh, step stepbrother Peter Law is in there. It's a strong safety position. So well represented in the Brady Bunch. Off hand, Lawler and Mason. Okay, off tackle, reverse position. Tackle, maybe three yard gain on the second down from scrimmage. It's gonna be third and a long five, six yards to go. Okay, Chad Davis comes rumbling off the field after intimidating those white jerseys. Okay, we're looking at third and long. They've gotta watch out for that tight end. Tight end is giving them a couple of good plays from Law. Okay. Watch the reverse. The coaches are calling reverse for reverse. The law coach is big on fumble ruski type of praise. Are we going to see it? Are we not? Everybody's calling it. We said, no, it's a pass play. Looking long, looking cross. And it is no good. Broken up by Peter Brady Bunch. Lawler comes out of his strong safety and take that ball down. Okay, now let's see. As we get ready to call this, two minutes remaining, third period. 
It's fourth and long for the lawmen. I would assume that they're going to kick it away. Yes, they're showing kick. Lala comes back after breaking up that play. Watch out for, again, a fancy play by them. Well, nope, they're not going to. They're going to keep it straight. Punt goes long. It's a good punt. Hamill's picking it up on the 32, looking where to go. Set up. He's got a couple of blocks. Can he make the turn? No, gets about the 37. Good luck. He was waiting to try to see if his blockers could pick up the uh, pursuit. Did a pretty good job, but just not enough there. It collapsed. Okay. Anybody game so far? You know, hand has a luxury position of being ahead in this tough fight in the trenches. Bash mouth football. Friday night, Daniel Hand is playing the lawman at Strong Field. Gorgeous night, Gumkowski to Burrell. Immediately hit the line of scrimmage by a host of linemen from the law team. Okay, back to the drawing boards. One yard gain, and that was generous. Okay, second down. Burrell comes out. Replaced in there by Larry. Second and ready in position. Lawler in a slot. Win a pair of wide left. Coming up, Hamill. He's looking strong. Pushing with holy mackerel. What a tidal wave of, of block is moving out in front of him, including Rob Mason and Dan Larry. Okay. I called, uh, I'm sorry on that. I called the wrong hand player. I just assumed there was Eric Hamill. And it wasn't. Peter Lawler grabbing that ball from Pale. Okay, let's get Peter, Peter a little bit of help on that. Thanks, gang. Away we go. Hey, okay, going to the right side. Eric stretches forward. He's going to be short on that third. Third down, he needed about six. I think he got about five. Zamani comes off the field. Sofa comes off. Lomkowski is showing the hands run up. Put the ball up with a foot this time. Maybe that's why they call it football. 86, Glenn is back. Danny's going to take the ball. It's a little low snap. Plenty of time, no rush. Ball's up, and it's, it's a free ball. And going to recover it. Team's entrepreneur rumbles downfield on his scatting feet. Ball was fumbled by the Hodgins uh, and the heavy handed strong running back of the uh, law. Can't pick the ball back up as we go into the fourth period. Teams will be reversing directions on the field. And taking over the miscue of the lawmen. 21 yard line of the law team, hand on the way, moving. Looking, Burrell gets the grab. He moves forward. He's got about eight or nine hard carrying yards as he muscles forward, dragging defenders with him all the way. With a host of help from his friends, Peter Lawler leading the pack up there. Okay, Ryan, Big D, Dorez takes to the field, giving Burrell a chance to come back off and get refreshed for the next plunge up the center. Perez takes his, his fullback position. Hamill in the tail. Ready to go sniffing pay dirt. And he does. Hamill breaking loose. First down. And about one and a half, two to go for the goal. All right. Hamill really breaking loose. Having great blocking from Mike Salmani up there. Okay. Andy Drennan doing his piece. Punishing yardage. Driving back that hauled it. The uh, Lyman defensive line, not an easy way. Defenders always have to react, and that starts to become tiring and punishing as you move down the field. Hamill with the ball, does he do it? Buster made it! He sniffed it, he smelled it, he went for it, and we got so excited we almost knocked the camera off the stand. And the hand faithful come off their seats, cheering, yelling. The cheerleaders. Push 
welcome back, they say. Hundreds of voices ringing in. But then, on the direction of musical director Fasano, getting the spirit up, flares them, get them going. On Wisconsin, rules the airways. On Tigers, on. 10.52 remaining. The special teams approaches the field, moves upfield. Tommy Hopkins will be teeing up in the near hash mark with the fast pursuit players getting ready to run down. Large, gonna start to get desperate with 11 minutes left in the game. 28-14 is the score in a very, very hard pitch battle. Tommy looks the ball over, addresses it, picks off the little pieces of, of fuzz and dirt, maybe a little mildew is built up on it. Looks at the tee. Caresses the ball, puts it in position. Tommy, you have great hands. Now let's see that toe get into it. A syrup on that. <laughs> All right. Nobody says we have to be impartial on this. <laughs> we love Madison it. Community, Madison community, not Milford community. Madison community. Channel 18, Monday Night Football. Tommy creams it downfield. Going to be reversed, you bet. Law from Baruski time, looking. Do they have a wall? Maybe he's going all the way. The reverse did work. One tremendous block out there by, by uh, Hart, the, the quarterback. He took down two Law. He took down two hand defenders on that pursuit team with one block. So, instant gratification for the Law team. We have about an 80-yard kickoff return. The weak point of the hand team so far this year has been exactly that. The special teams, big play is, has really been uh, the bane of the hand team so far this year on defense. And there you have it, making it back 28-20 right now. We have Lahr addressing the ball. They're gonna do another kick, unless they have a fancy uh, Fancy plan to try to go for two. Don't think so. Plenty of time. Yes, no. Going for two. Do they get it? Yes, they do. Two point yes, sir. You two always can expect fun and games out of the law coach, I believe. He comes up with, with fake plays all over the place. That makes it a 28-22 ball game. Very interesting. Hand has got to maintain ball control at this point because with that two-point conversion on that lock and now with a touchdown, tie it and with an extra point, go ahead. So what you've got here is, is a very smart law play uh, picking up on that, that kickoff return. Now, let's see if Hand is gonna be able to return in kind. They've got some big horses out back. Uh, law, watch out for the fancy onside kick, although there's a lot of time left in the game. Uh, law is likely to do most, most anything even switch the ball, make it uh, sort of a little Harlem Globetrotters type of role, maybe. Who knows what they're going to do. Every year we see something new, something fancy come out of law. Very predictable to do it, but you can't predict the exact down. A little bit like an earthquake. Okay, Han, let's go. Let's get that ball. Let's have some team, some ball control. Okay, Carrick, ready to tee the ball off. He does, he goes, he kicks, it's deep, it's to Hamill. Hamill looks for a wall, a little bit up here on the, oh, he runs in the place. No, oh, he almost breaks it, 38 yards down. So it's Hamill returns the Eric kid, he almost broke that himself. <laughs> the last minute, he was put nine. down on the green by the, uh, by the law team they had to. That was desperation tackling and they did it. Okay, hands got good field position, they were on 38 yard line, 39 yard line. They've got to maintain control with 10.25 on the board. Fourth period. And Kamkowski takes outside, leading high to Hamill. He's met immediately. Hamill he may have even lost the yard on that. Oh, we have uh, actually some, some harassment down here by the law team. Uh, guy making the tackle. I don't know. You got to look at the scoreboard, see what it says. Second and 11. <laughs> okay. Second 11 yard line. Second 11 to go for the first on the 37 yard line, if you will. 
Getting ready, Gumkowski getting ready in the ball. Hevesy ready to pass the ball back, and he does. Gumkowski has it, looking pass. No, he keeps. Moves forward, there's a, a flag on the field. Gumkowski's about six, seven. Runs the keeper. The flag came down, could be motion, could be blocking, could be procedure. Could be offside scan. And is gonna drive, be driven back another negative five yards, if you will. Okay. Not the direction that they want to be going. Second down and about 16 yards. Okay. Okay, hand. Ball control. Dorez comes off the field. Winnie comes wide right, wide left, excuse me. Okay, there's a lot of fire in that uh, defensive team out there. Lock and smell. They don't have to do a heck of a lot. Okay, second down play. Came up maybe three, maybe four by Burrell. Carry, picks up three to the 36. All right. Third and 13. Long 13 to go. This is normally a pass play. Burrell comes out. Gwena Perro is taking the long trot out to the far right-hand side. Ida Lawler is in the tight slot. There you go. Gumkowski back looking pass. And he is, he is brought, nope, not quite brought down. He's looking to run. And he made it back just about to the line of scrimmage before he's forced out of bounds. Very lucky not to have been dropped back at about the 25-yard uh, line on that. Good, good pursuit, good pressure by the law team. Their defense really is fired up right now. You can see it in this series of plays. <clears throat> A lot of energy out there. You would have thought they were being driven back so much they would have been tired, but they weren't. They did not show they got their adrenaline pumping again. Hand will be kicking off. Uh, punting. It's up. It's good punt. It's going back 35, 40. Good, good hand bounce. Let it go. Let it roll. Okay, hand downs it on about the 26, 27 yard line. Okay, so in about medium position back in their territory, Law will be taking over. Tigers have got to hunker down on defense right now. They've got to hold it and try to get them out of there. 8.23 left. Six point lead for Daniel Hand. Fourth period of this. Very, very strong contest of very, very equal type teams, if you will. Both have three and all records on the season. Lara has started off for the best season in a long time. And is a very young team and coming on strong. Hand's been learning a lot, a lot of, lot of experience factor happening in there. Tommy Hawkman close on the linebacker. Going, going. Uh oh, off the wide. 24, the man who ran the Hopkins. Has him down. Oh, what nice pursuit. Nice second, third, fourth effort by Tommy Hopkins. <coughs> we had just called that Tommy Hopkins was on the linebacking position on the near side. He had to chase all the way across the field. Didn't give up. Didn't stand and watch as a spectator would the play. That, that is very, very good second effort, third effort, if you would, on Tommy Hopkins to save the touchdown. 24 was the man who did run back the, uh, the kick return, and he broke loose on that on an unbalanced line the way it looked. And now, Lar feels the feels fresh. Okay, Codrington takes the ball Hopkins and is met right down. by again Tommy Hopkins, coming through with a nice game. Hopkins He's helped by Soper, comes up. One, but that was good down nine, open field nine, tackling, if you will. Okay. All right, it's going to be second down and uh, nine nine and a half yards to go. Seven minutes and plus. Clock is ticking away. Threatening again is Law team. They're showing some pass. Watch reverses, watch everything. There'll be tricks, there'll be dumps, there'll be everything. Okay, going wide again, same player. You gotta pick up that man's name. You bet, its name is Kimberly. Mark Kimberly. Gains two yards to the 24. He is, he is, third and seven. He has got himself a number of yards about 80 yards in the kick return, about 35, 40 yards in that, that run. This one right here, about six more. The young man is headed for 100. Third down and about seven, showing pass. Flank away, way right here, wide here. Okay, quarterback. He's going up again, he's gonna be mad. Is he? No, he's not. And a touchdown by Jonathan Law. They just totally dominated the hand team that time on the 
on defense. So now it's a tie score, 28-28. Six minutes to play. Now that two-point uh, conversion they made a few minutes ago looms big. What they'll be looking for is to kick it up. One point wins the ball game. There's still a long time left in the game for Hand to come back. But this has been one whale of a ball game. Ready to go, no win, no factor. Good kicker, he's up, he is good. It is a one point game for a lot. As they take the lead, silencing the hand faithful. Out of, a lot of encouragement now. They're behind for the first time this year to a team equal in attack, but they certainly feel their adrenaline. Hand thought they might have had him on their knees. They had Law just uh, about four minutes ago by two touchdowns. Now Law has come through with, with two on a, on, a touch, on a kickoff return for a score. And right now, the kick is up. It's to Hamill. Hamill takes the ball. He's got some blockers. Can he make it? He slips on the turf. He's got it on about the 36-yard line. Hamill will be taking over. All right, Hand has got to hunker down. This is a place where we could see at the beginning of the game, it looked like that the law team was bigger up front than Hand. So Hand's been having to push, push uh, by being outsized. And the young players are up there now. They have got to make their blocks. No mistakes now. Burrell takes the ball. Hits a brick wall, turns around, comes back, gains a couple. It's going to be second down and seven yards to go. <laughs> okay, very, very exciting. Very exciting game. One of the best games you would have seen in a long time. And looking for encouragement from their fans. The cheerleaders hopping along. the field. Gwen Apparel coming to this, the near side uh, flank. Lawler in motion. Taps the butt. Away he comes. Gumkowski. We got a flag. Gumkowski goes, moves. First down. And a little bit extra. Flashing on a cake, but the flag is down. That usually comes from a position where you've got an offensive uh, mistake. Uh, probably a blocking mistake from that standpoint. Penalty is against the motion. Yeah, going to be third down and about uh, 
third down over again, and I would say eight yards. Ten. Okay, third down and ten to go. Okay. Mistakes are dear and costly at this point. Third down, hand gets the ball. Three minutes to play. Needing the success at this point. Soper comes in, tight end. Moving down, Lawler gives the signal. He's got it, he's got it, he can make it. Kamkowski can make it, he's through, he's past it. Plus, you can see it opening up for him. Nice blocking out there, man in motion, Peter. Peter the Lawler hits the Lawless out there. It's going to be second and 11. And we'll take the snap when we're at the 36 yard line. Gotta keep it going. Two minutes to play. Young hand players have got to come through. Highest stress level they will have experienced this year, other than double session practices. All right, addressing the ball, Gumkowski. One slight miscue, first of the year of that sort. Kamkowski has the ball, passes deep to Guinepero, and he's back down on the 12 yard line. Nice catch, Guinepero, heavy traffic. A little bit behind him, reaches up, grabs, brings it in. Knew he was going to get cut, but he comes through. And a strong background he has of the Guinepero family. Sister Dana, our standing swimmer for the Daniel Hand women's swim team a couple years back. Brother John, outstanding receiver. Where we go, Gumkowski is swimming out to Burrell. Burrell moves hard, pressing hard. Push, about six yards gain. One minute, 17 left. Hand has to watch the time, calls it. Time out. All right, it is tense. It's a minute 12. Hand has the ball, second down and uh, five for the first. Uh, second and seven for goal. They do have the ability to get inside and sneak another series of downs, if they will, but time is of the essence right now. Hands in experience. However, these boys, stress factor is working out there. Punishing ball game. These are the tough guys. Are the toughest. They're all tough. These are the toughest. The law defense ready to go into play. They know the stakes. Two undefeated teams bringing it into one minute. Hands behind by one, one point. And about Lawler in motion, looking to go to the tight side. Gumkowski taking it himself, moves. He gains two, three yards. Gonna have to, your hand's gonna have to call time quickly. A minute clock still running. Inside a minute. They're very slow getting up off the ball as the law team, trying to sneak as much time as they can. And, and use that five, six seconds ready for that, for that time out. The law did what they should as far as they can make it slow coming off the pile so that the clock still keeps on moving. It's third down, about a yard to go. A yard to go for first down and three, four yards to go for the TD. Hand needs the point. There's no, no question about it. Although they're within striking distance now, I think, of Jimmy Willis. He ought to be loosening up his leg. This is field goal territory. Don't see anything on the sideline. Willis, number 16, warming that leg. And we got 56 seconds left, fourth period, with the ball, third down, no miscues. Right, everything working. Morrell takes the ball, he's in, he's got the first down. Timeout, head, timeout, do you have the time? Short of the goal line, first and goal. First and goal, and one foot, one yard, less than a yard to go. And everybody on their feet. It's electric in the stadium. The visiting team fans and spectators are on their feet. Nobody's leaving the field. Nobody's leaving the parking lot. Okay. 
You want? Okay. Here we go with the electric feeling here at Strong Field. Madison Cable TV is more than pleased to bring you these. Produce, production director on this is Lynn Richards. <clears throat> Ably assisted by Steve Close. All right, Gwyneth Barrow, who made one of the key catches on this, comes wide. Domkowski, hands off to Hamill, he's in. Did he make it? If not, that clock is moving. The referees are not signaling. They say second down and a foot. Okay, we've got players on the field. Ron Ways freezing the ball. They're going to be offsides if Han get at it. Okay. Han stops the clock by the a pass. Effectively freezing the ball. Okay, let's let's turn it on and we'll... All right, everybody, the Eye of the Tiger is out there. Came from one of the Rocky movies. There's hand on the no, there's time on the field, 27 seconds left. We've seen him move onto the field with their kicker, Jim Willis. It is field goal territory. Third down, one foot to go. Well, we're looking at some very, very serious football being taking place right now. And it's behind by one point, 29-28. If they kick this ball, there'll be 27 seconds on right now. They'll be down about 22 seconds. They must get it through. It's a, not a desperation move, but it's very calculated. With the third down, if there's a miscue, him will still have a chance to come back with their fourth down play. One yard to go. However, will they fake it? As we saw, Law did fake it. Point after. This literally, the ball will be placed inside the normal uh, field goal position, inside the normal point after position. Okay, to me, Hevesy approaches. No, Han does not have it. They are not going to kick the ball. They've got two plays. They're going in. Burrell's got the ball. seconds on the game. The stadium goes wild. Yes. Yes. It doesn't get any better than this. It doesn't. Just. Oh. Willis gets in there now. They had plenty of time. They made the defense think about what was going on. But it was nothing but smash mouth football. Tiger football. Hey, hey, baby. Hits the stadium. What? game, everyone. Okay, it's up. It doesn't make much difference, but it's good. It is good. And goes up to 35 to 29. 23 seconds left. However, there is a flag on the field. There is a flag on the field, everybody. What is it? It won't be on the kicker. Or is roughing the kicker is the call. It should be assessed on the kickoff. Okay, if that's the case... Roughing the kicker, declined by him. Touchdown, extra point count. Hand is up to their average on the year. They've been two, two games of 35 points, one game of 34. Now they're at 35 again, 29. However, folks, we must not forget the weak point of Hand's game has been special teams efforts. There will be a kick. You had better believe that that the law team will be up there looking to try to break one all the way from the kick as they did earlier. Kimberly was the young man, number 24. He is definitely be back looking for that ball. I'm sure Hand will try to kick it away. However, Law has had uh, a lot of good hands out there. They'll do that again. Hand definitely wants to have this clock run out as fast as they can. Tommy Hawkins approaches the ball, addresses the ball, puts it on the tee. He wants to get it deep, wants to make them every opportunity for his team to, team to follow through. What an electrifying ball game. It has been an up and down game all the way, back and forth, hard both teams. Too bad one team has to lose, but that's the way it goes. The ball is down, it's scribbed, it's on the ground. There'll be reverses. It is, 24 has it again. He's looking, he's down. Timmy Hevesy, down. Mac Dolan down as well. 17 seconds 
on the clock. This will be air out time. The quarterback must be. The second part Hand has to worry about is pass defense. And that's where Pete O'Hara will come deep. They'll give up the close in play. The quarterback back looking long. The pass is complete. No, it isn't. Incomplete. Clock stops with two seconds on the clock. Two seconds showing enough for one more. The incomplete pass stopped it. We're looking right now. One more play. Air out. Hair mail Mary time. Time out by Jonathan Law. We can feel it. We will not break right now because there is game ready to go. Steve Sakula comes off the field. Took his pads off, but not his wad of gum. One play left, eight seconds on the clock. We misread the clock. A lot of pressure, the ball's down. One more play left, four seconds off. A lot of pressure on the quarterback. He had nothing to do but throw it away. Good coverage by him. However, the receivers for uh, the law were way down there. They had gotten deep. If it was completed, it would have worked. Quarterback high for law comes back on the field. Ryan Doris drops back, Hamill drops back, Lalo drops back, Hopkins. Linebackers pull back. They know it's got to be passed. Four seconds. Going to be pressure. Going to run hard. I thought there was some. Yes, there was a. Ah, intercepted by Hopkins. Hopkins got the ball. Trying to break loose. He's down. His time runs out. There is a penalty on the field. It's an offensive. Offensive penalty. Decline. Hand win. 35. 29. Let's pick up on this. Go ahead. The hand faithful, cheering the band, never lost its seat. Stayed with the game. Chili just did their part. The fans did their part. The coaches, the groundskeepers. You never know what's going to happen with uh, Madison Cable TV, everybody. Uh, tonight we had the cord, the plug pulled on us before we got a chance to do the wrap up. So we decided with uh, producers, Dr. Steve Hughes, to come up with a little different format for this. Uh, the wrap-up of the game, it was probably one of the most exciting games most of us have seen in a long time here, and an absolutely gorgeous night at Strong Field. Uh, Daniel Hand, yes, winning the ball game, uh, 35 to 29, hard fought on both sides of the ball for each team. It's one of those games that's kind of tough to have anybody lose the game, but somebody does. In this case, Hand has come out with a 4-0 record on the season now. Uh, defeating what had been considered by the New Haven Register as one of one of the best teams in the area. That's the Law football team from uh, Law High School in Milford, Connecticut. We, uh, we also saw that they had actually billed this as the game of the week as far as the area goes. So it was neat. It was a wonderful game, a wonderful night out there. Very, very electric as far as the, uh, the, uh, the uh, whole environment is concerned. Uh, we'd like to, who do, you, who do you pass out the plaudits to? Hard to get in any one person because it was well spread. The running game worked well again we had, with Eric Hamill, definitely going over 100 yards, and Mike Burrell certainly breaking that mark again. Uh, we, we didn't have much passing on hand standpoint, but what we did see, there were two absolutely key grabs, one by uh, Peter Lawler in the end zone for two points, uh, which was key at that time for hand. The other one was by uh, Danny Guinapero, uh, very late in the uh, fourth quarter to sustain the drive that ultimately ended up with hand getting the winning touchdown. So, uh, and that was in heavy traffic. So Danny and Peter did a great job on that stand. Obviously, you got to hand it to uh, um, Mark Mkowski doing a great job also for the team. But I think the real key was it was absolutely in the trenches football from that's what we can all see. The, in the trenches football, both offense and defense. Uh, anybody with those high numbers on their jerseys is uh, going to come in whipped. Uh, to this food party we have tonight. And, and so I don't want to bear in the game too much more. You'll have a chance to, to watch it, what you already did. The wrap-up is we won. That's great. But we've got a little different situation tonight. We're, we're here at uh, the food party that's put on by the Boosters every single week for the football players and parents. The Boosters Club uh, knows that the team, as you can well imagine, has to arrive at the field long before it's time to eat. These are big, heavy-duty guys that uh, require a lot of calories, and they certainly burn them up at the games. So the parents put on this food party, and it's a lot of fun, and everybody gets a chance to meet. They have a chance to watch this film ahead of time uh, or while they're eating. 
and uh, that sort of a whole idea. So what we, we are is here. It's at St. Margaret's this week. It has been here a couple times, St. Margaret's Church, and we want to thank them very much for uh, the opportunity to be here. So we're going to try to grab a couple of the parents and have some comments from them. And I'm going to go and try to find uh, Mike Dorez right now. But I want to introduce you to a good friend of mine, Mike Dorez. Uh, Mike is, is father of, uh, of Ryan Big D Dorez, as you heard during the, uh, the game today. That's how we can make that He's going to love that. <laughs> Mike is also president of the Boosters Club. An awful lot of work goes into this. and. Uh, I'd, I'd like to have uh, Mike kind of tell you a little bit about what the Boosters Club is. Yeah, what we've been doing, you know, we run fundraisers. Uh, we had a concert a couple weeks ago to raise some money for the boys. We have a program book that we put out that uh, we try to make some money on from advertisers, and we're selling that book for a dollar. Uh, Frank's got a copy here. Uh, if you need one, if somebody would like one, uh, there's copies on sale at Orca Sports. Uh, Bill uh, Freeman selling them for us, so if you'd like to get them uh, there, they're available. But uh, the money we get, we use uh, for the boys for uh, extra equipment that uh, they can't get or there's a problem, but uh, somehow the coaches need it. Uh, we put on food parties for the boys, but most of that money comes from the parents themselves. But uh, the things the boys get, uh, trophies and various things, uh, shirts and things that they put on that they need, uh, and actually, anything we could get to support the football program. Uh, uh, Mike, if somebody also, if they can't get to Orca Sports, which of course is relatively new in downtown Madison, uh, and they wanted to contact you, how could they do that? They can just call, uh, you know, call my home. I'm in the phone book. Uh, and we'll be glad to get anybody uh, as many books as they want. Well, for a person such as myself who doesn't spell very well, Mike, how do okay. you? Okay, you can get 245-7697. And don't call after 10 o'clock at night because we try to keep the boys <laughs> off the phone, too. <laughs> okay. And, and uh, uh, Mike, how much do you think? I, obviously, this goes a lot of effort, and, and to mail it out, there should be some sort of a donation. People do pay for it at the gate. Well, uh, if, you know, I'd, li I'd like to, you know, leave that up to who's ever doing it. We'd be glad to mail it, but, you know, we need something to cover the cost of mailing. The book we're trying to sell for a dollar. So, uh, you know, something to cover the cost. It's probably a couple of bucks to mail it out in Madison, so... Uh, it's probably what we need. Yeah, I would say some of you viewers at home, we know we have a great time watching cable TV and watching the uh, public access channel, uh, don't get a chance to get to the games and may not get a chance to get downtown so that uh, uh, we'd love to have them know what the, the faces behind the pictures are and all that sort of thing. Yeah, that's right. And you, know, you can see the people that support us in town. The advertisers are in there. There's uh, a lot of the town's uh, businesses support us. They're all in the book. Uh, you see their ads, see who support us, and in turn try to support them in return and keep the, the business here in town. Great. Well, we'd like to thank Mike and, and everybody here. We're going to try to pan later on around the, the uh, food party, Mike, to see people, oh, how many people turn out for it. Great. What you want to do is get the boys as they come in and uh, get, you know, get, a, get an after the show highlights film. That's something. true. Come dragging in. It was kind of interesting, Mike. I, uh, I was talking to Timmy Hevesy as I was walking out you know, from the field tonight, and, and he was saying, I am whipped, and you can well imagine I that. Know, I, I walked up, and Ryan said the same thing to me. He was tired, and I, you know, I told him, and then it's like all the boys that tell, if they leave the game tired, we know they played well, and the score shows it, so uh, we're you proud bet. of them. You bet. Well, look, Mike, thank you very much, and continue the okay, good work. Frank, okay, Frank, thanks to you for supporting us, too, and thanks to these guys that uh, are behind the camera, uh, Steve Fuse and uh, everybody else that supports us, uh, the Sprague's, and uh, thanks a lot. A lot of fun. Good. Okay. Yeah. Long-time friend of mine. Carol Lawler. Mason. Mason. Thank you. Okay, that we got to get that in. I wanted that to be on there like that, Carol, because uh, I have made a few comments on the air about you and your family, and I, I know you, you love it because it's fun. It's a great family. Carol is mother of uh, Peter, and she's also mother of uh, Rob, who's out there. Rob is a big number 72 that's in the line all the time. And Peter is all over the field. No matter what he's doing, he's doing something out there, huh? They're really having a great year. Yeah, that's dynamite. What, what is it like as a mother to see the two boys out there kind of smashing it up all the time? Do you, do you actually watch the game, Carol? Oh, I, I don't want to take my eyes off of it. Um, it really is neat because um, they've grown up together for many years, and it's the, one of the first times that they've actually had a chance to play together. Ah. Um, they used to play on opposite teams because they were different sizes in the in the lower leagues. So it's really a pleasure, and they come home, and they talk about it, and they live it all week long. Um, we watch Monday night. We watch Wednesday <laughs> night. 
our whole household is football, and it's been football in our house for many years. So oh. this is a great year for him. It really is. It's a lot of fun now. How about Peter? What kind of plans do you have for next year? Well, people from Yale have been calling him the Coast Guard Academy. So uh, he really hasn't done a lot about his college um, process yet. So that's going to come right after the football season is over. Obviously, by naming those schools, you're, you're effectively saying between the lines he's a good student. I understand he's an excellent student. Yeah, he's been very good, and so therefore we're hoping that the combination of academics and uh, sports is going to get him a good college. Okay, that's that's time. Right. And, and I do want to bring up uh, another old friend of mine from your family, Pam. What's Pam up to nowadays? Pam graduated from Babson College, um, cum laude. She's an accountant with a big six accounting firm in Boston. She still does a lot of sports. Um, ah. You may remember her from her basketball days. Um, and she loves to watch her younger brothers play. And she comes down to as many games as she can. She has a season pass. She didn't make it tonight, but she's going to be here next weekend to watch them do Clinton. <laughs> That's going to be an exciting game next week. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. And it's a way. Thank you very much, Carol. Thanks. Uh, hey, look, we, we're going to try to drag over one of the key mothers of, of the whole Daniel Hand High School football program. Carol has already been on. Carol Lawler has done a wonderful job on TV. Come on over. This is everybody. You're watching Mary Jean Hevesy right now. Mary Jean Hevesy is, is mother and also secretary for the sports program at the high school. And you can see she's very... Uh, very fancily done up with their go-to go uh, game attire yeah, and everything. Hand Tigers on, and that could very well say Williams on it. It could say Wesley. It could say University of Maine, if I remember right. Okay, Mary Jean, here. I'd like to help out a little rundown. This is Mary Jean Hevesy, in case you didn't get, grab that, of the Hevesy, 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 and Hevesy football clan, if you will. How about giving us a, a chronological uh, update on what the boys are up to? Christopher graduated from Williams, what, two years ago, and he's yep. working in North Haven. Okay. Johnny's a senior at the University of Maine. Uh, in fact, we're going tomorrow to Portland, Maine to see him play. Playing in Portland? Playing in Portland. They're playing Richmond in Portland. Oh, they try to keep nice. the lower part of, you know, Maine well, that's involved my in the football. That's my home area is Portland, Maine. Is it so, really? Yeah, they should. I mean, after all, well, they that's it, yeah. don't need those black bears up there in the middle of the woods all way the time. Up, no, way up in no man's yeah. land. No. That, that saves you about uh, three hours drive that well, way. Joe said it's only three and a half hours. Yeah, good. Yeah. So how is John doing this year? This is his senior year. He this was registered one year. Right, this is his fifth year, so he'll graduate fifth year. Fifth year. Yeah, they gave him the five years, so he'll graduate in June. That's and, super. And hoping to go on for another year. What's, what is what John right now? He, he is what, six foot four? Six five, two ninety five. Six five, two ninety five. When he was in high school, my family called him Sweet Pea. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> yeah, we used to call him Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea? Yeah. So anyway, Sweet Pea Hevesy is a University of Maine senior. <laughs> six foot five, 290 pounds. I don't know. That's a big sweet pea, I guess. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a big sweet okay, pea. Okay, how about Scotty? Scotty's a Wesleyan, okay. freshman at Wesleyan. Okay, now he's playing football? He's playing football. Okay, yeah. and is he QBing? Where is he on the depth chart or any of that sort of right stuff? Right now he's backup quarterback. Backup. Okay, great. And he travels with the team, yeah. Okay, I, I, you probably weren't here, but I was saying earlier to Mike Doraz that on the way off the field tonight, I was talking to Timmy. And he said, hey, Mr. Torov, I'm whipped. <laughs> <laughs> he played one whale of a game tonight. What are your comments as a mother watching a game like this? Yeah, well, it's hard because I don't, I can't see him that well. You can't. You know, in the middle of the line. <laughs> so I enjoy sitting home Monday night and watching. Okay, so it's six foot four and two hundred and. Well, he's only about he's about two ten. Two ten. He's two got ten. a ways to go then. Yeah, I don't know. They feel he'll be taller than Johnny, but I don't know whether he'll be as big. <laughs> he'll be as big, but. Uh, well, 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 he plays both ways. So. Yeah, he, well, he's actually what they call an Iron Man because he Iron does, Man. like you say, offense, defense, and special teams. So All that's right, considered that's right. an Iron Man in football. So That's why I said to him leaving tonight. I said, you get your water jug? He says, no, I wish I could carry one on my back. He said, <laughs> <laughs> if anybody could, he could. That was a whale of a um, game tonight. Yeah, they had a good game. Yeah, it was a good game. Okay, that's time. I'd like to thank you for coming by. We appreciate it, and good luck to all the boys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I want to thank the parents who uh, who came here and gave us a chance to kind of meet them a little bit. The, the boys will be coming in fairly soon, and we want to kind of wrap things up for this. It was a great game for Daniel Hand. We want to thank the parents that are having us here. You heard Mike Dorez. If you'd like to get a program, please call him up. 
so that uh, you can have a program to follow along at home. And now we'd like to say for on Friday night at St. Margaret's Church, good night for Monday Night Football. Bango? <laughs> okay.